welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a beginner's guide if you're looking to switch over to all natural, non toxic products. If you're new to my channel, I have a four part series now where I share all the products I've switched to on my clean journey. It's been over two years. I have found some really great brands along the way, and I wanted to share with you some tips on how to switch over to natural products, different resources that you can use that are really going to guide you to the right products and make sure that they're actually clean avoid greenwashing and make sure that you know you're not wasting anything but you're also being mindful with your money i know it can be very expensive to switch over to natural products especially if you're used to you know buying maybe the five dollar mascara at the drugstore maybe you're you know used to it and you shop at sephora all the time but you're going to have to make some changes after you're done watching this video make sure to check out my all natural clean non-toxic product switch series where i share the products that i've switched to i also have my clean makeup routine up and of course there will be more videos coming your way stick around if these are the types of videos that you want to see subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media i am so excited that you're here and let's get into this video Okay, first up, I want to remind you that this is definitely a journey. I definitely didn't throw out all the products that I had overnight. It's going to take some time to find brands that you like and products that you like that maybe equate to what you're used to using. So you want to be patient with the process. I've been on this journey for about two plus years now and recently kind of nailed down what my makeup routine is, but it did not happen overnight. That leads me into my next tip to you and and that would be to use what you have and replace it with something clean. You're not gonna wanna throw out everything right away. That's of course gonna waste product. So once you use up that toothpaste or that foundation or that mascara, maybe the cleaning supplies in your kitchen, you can look to some resources and figure out what the best clean option is for you. The next tip is to start with one to three items the items that you use the most. So for me, it was my mascara, my shampoo and conditioner, and moisturizer. This will allow you to focus on those one to three products, really doing your research and kind of setting the tone for when you do look for other products, making sure you're looking at the ingredients and looking at the resources that I will share with you shortly, properly vetting these products before you're putting them on your skin and purchasing them with your own money and bringing them into your home. The next tip is for somebody like me where I couldn't go out and spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on new skincare products, makeup products. I looked for things at first that were a little bit lower on the price range. Some clean products can be expensive. It really depends on the quality of ingredients. Now, I will say that with clean products, it's all about what your standards are. Some people might want all organic ingredients. Some people might not really care if there's an organic ingredients. They just want the ingredient itself self to be clean. You might find with more expensive products, you will have higher quality ingredients going into it. Whereas on the other hand, you might have a product that's a little bit more affordable with ingredients that are still clean, but maybe they use lesser quality ingredients. If you're just starting out, want to do what you can afford and start out with products that you can afford. My first pass at this, I went to the drugstore. It is a little bit harder to find products that are completely clean at the drugstore and grocery store. I think Target is starting to, you'll, you'll see some, you know, newer brands emerge, but I think because of the price point and, you know, that they can be pretty pricey, it's hard to stock them on your grocery store and your convenience store and, you know, a CVS or a Walgreens type place. Okay, next up are resources. Now, these are really gonna help you develop an understanding for ingredients, how toxic or how neutral they are for your body and the impacts they have and their purposes in the products. So the first place that I like to look is Think Dirty. This is a great way to kind of quickly see if something might rank higher or lower on the scale. There is a scale from zero to, I believe, 10 and hopefully nothing is 
10, that would not be good. But a lot of your household items like toothpaste and brands that we're just used to growing up with, they're pretty high up there. They're around like six, seven, eight, like you could see them creep up there. So anyway, that's why you're here. So Think Dirty is great. It does have its pros and cons. It's super easy, it's convenient. They have an app. You can quickly kind of search the product and see if it's clean or not. It does list out the ingredients and the ratings and the possible concerns. However, sometimes you won't find the product on there and you'll have to do a little bit more digging or the ingredients aren't fully vetted. So that's where I like to go over to the EWG Skin Deep database. They have an app on the phone, but you can search for products on the phone and then I think you have to go over to the website to actually search ingredients. They'll allow you to actually search word for word an ingredient and they'll tell you the rating and then any of the concerns associated with it, if it has allergy, cancer concerns, what the toxicity of the ingredient is. EWG does have some products that are EWG verified, but even then you should still be doing your research. I've seen EWG verified products that are actually not clean. I had a shampoo conditioner that I got from the store, actually the Walmart, which again, it's hard to find clean products at those types of stores, but I found them at Walmart and it said it was EWG verified and I was like, wow, that's really cool. And then I got home, did some more research on the ingredients and it was actually not clean. They had some fragrance thrown in there and some things that shouldn't be in there. So you can't trust everything. Like I said, do your own research. Do not be dependent on these apps that I'm telling you about. Some other places I like to look for brands and products is Organic Bunny. She's been a really great resource for me from the start. She has an Instagram. She also has her own shop on her website, organicbunny.com. She has tons of clean brands. Brands. She really does a great job of vetting them. So you can go on that website and know what you're getting, the quality, the ingredients, know that they're clean. The detox market I recently found, they have really great clean brands. And this is a great way to discover brands and then kind of research the products themselves and the brand themselves. These websites are a great way to kind of filter out and find brands and then you can look further into the products. The other store I like is Take Care. They are actually located in Georgetown, DC. And I am so happy I found something close to home. I can walk right in and know that all the brands in there are quality ingredients. Of course I do further research, but it's really great to kind of have that filter where you can walk in and know that you're not gonna have, you know, Colgate toothpaste or toxic deodorant or anything. You can just go in and know that they've already kind of curated it for you. So I love just walking in there and finding some new brands that I've never heard of. The next thing I wanted to say is to avoid greenwashing. It happens a lot, especially because the demand for clean beauty, clean skincare, green beauty is a thing, but those words are not regulated. So some brands can say that they're clean or green, but but their ingredients still aren't that great. When you look it up and you do research on those ingredients, the only word that's regulated is organic. So if something has organic ingredients or it says it's organic, I would say that's your best bet. That's highest quality. It's really hard to find products that have all organic ingredients, but if it has more um, than not, it's generally looking like it's a good product. So you wanna stay away from you know the clean green beauty section at your favorite place to get makeup, AKA Sephora or Ulta, you wanna do your own research. Just because they label it as clean does not mean their clean standards are up to your standard. Another thing to know is if you find a clean brand, just because one of their products is clean doesn't mean the rest of their products is clean. Hopefully you can come across some brands that really value the clean aspect of products and what goes into their products, but sometimes you will find that maybe, you know, you liked their facial cleanser, but their moisturizer has ingredients that you're not a fan of. So you really want to vet each individual product. I know it's a lot of work and it sounds like a lot of work, but once you do that initial work and research, you will develop that knowledge that you can take further when you're looking for more products. You wanna keep an eye out for the kind of smaller brands that maybe gain popularity and then get bought out by larger companies. When this happens, the larger companies will most likely switch out products to make more of a profit. They'll put in ingredients that 
maybe are cheaper or not as clean to make more money in the long run. At the end of the day, they can care less about us and more about the money that's lining their pockets. So you wanna make sure big brands that you might find in the store that have claimed that they're clean or good for the environment, green or any of those words, um, you wanna do that digging and make sure. Most likely if a, a deodorant or a toothpaste or any type of product is owned by a large company and most likely it won't be clean or up to your standards. It's a lot of being aware of the changes and the research. There's definitely a lot in this process, but going back to what I said in the beginning is stick with one to three products to start with. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't throw everything out. Don't spend all your money on clean products. You want to test out products, see if you like them, see if they work for you. There's definitely a lot of research and being mindful and just aware of the things that are going into these products while you're on this clean journey, but I promise you it'll be worth it. It's really great for your body, for the people around you. You're really making an investment in yourself and your body and your future. And I really hope this video was helpful. If you wanna see parts one to four, I will link that down below and you'll get to see some products that I've switched over to as well as my clean makeup routine. And subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. I'm definitely gonna be sharing more as I continue my clean journey to switch to all natural non-toxic products. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.